So we have the most powerful AI in the world and it still told us to make a phone that looks like this. <laughs> wow. Oh, hi there. I'm Sam Tucker from Google. And today we'd like to tell you about our brand new products for two goddamn hours. Wow, our search results have gotten very slow. No wonder Bing's pulling ahead. Speaking of which, let's start with AI. Our AI is powered by a robot called Sundar Pichai, who's also our chief executive he him. Now, so far, Google AI has allowed you to do many great things, such as delete your children, wear a safety vest for a very dangerous video call, and filter your friends by skin tone. Yeah, Manfura, we finally have the technology. At la uh, uh, Don't trace that call. But now the AI can do even more, such as generate entire emails that you can send to your friends and then they can generate emails back at you until it's just the computers talking to each other. And that is how you get terminated. Look, there's one flying on stage right now. Get it, boys. Nicely done. Google Maps will soon look like Grand Theft Auto Maps. I can swear this was a motel room. And you know, in show business, they say never work with kids or grandma. Well, with the new Google Photos app, you'll be able to move your kid and your grandma to where you told them to. If only they had AI ears. Now, it's important to say that all of our AI products will be tested for safety and responsibility, which basically means you won't be able to do anything fun with it. So while doctors and coders might lose their job to AI, at least the hot bitches and stud muffins will still have work. Moving on, search will now have detailed AI tailored answers to your questions right under a giant advertisement. In fact, to tell you more, here's Thomas. George, hold the camera still. George, keep it steady. Tom's trying to talk, forget it. Introducing the all new Pixel 7a. What's so great about it? I don't know, because in our two hour presentation, we only spent two minutes on it. Now please give yeah. us the money. <laughs> the next most interesting thing is the all new Pixel Tablet Stand. Yeah, you know what? Someone liked it, so they put a ring on it. To tell you more, here's some lady. Um, I'm not a tech person. I don't know how things work. <laughs> I mean. All right, lady, that's enough. <laughs> Introducing the all new Pixel Fold. Just listen to the crowd go silent. Uh, where are you going, buddy? Oi, where is everyone? All quiet online as well? Ah, oh, used by Dr. Phil. This phone flops out and flaps its wings, turning from a phone into a tablet. And we all know how much Android tablets have really taken over the world. Isn't that right? No. Ah. Of course not. You can use both screens at once to take awesome selfies or translate with others using interpreter mode. Warning though, using translations too much will turn you Spanish. What many college students don't realize, muchos universitarios no comprenden que saber If you don't want a personality at all, then our phone OS can reply to messages for you, which ironically turns you into the Android. <laughs> Replace photos of your children with AI wallpapers or prop it up like a tiny laptop for YouTube. And if you pre-order for a shitload, you'll get a free Pixel Watch, whether you want it or not. How amazing. Hey, let's get an AI-generated review from Sunda. I'm really enjoying the new tablet and the first Pixel foldable phone. Now that's enthusiasm. The all new Google stuff, powered by AI. What do you think of the new AI revolution, Sunda? The shift with the AI is as- Sounds about right. Subscribe today. Here we go, an AI generated outro. <clears throat> What's up guys, welcome to another video. Oh, sorry, that's how every YouTube video starts. But look, thanks for watching everyone. Hey, why not watch Samsung's reaction to the Google Fold? And subscribe today. <laughs>